The outside world awaits the German election result, hoping for bolder decisions on Europe, economic growth and foreign policy. But Germany's voters may think otherwise. Germany's not in a mood for change. The country survived the financial crisis better than almost any other country in Europe. Unemployment is at a 20-year low. Angela Merkel personifies that mood. She's a safe pair of hands. She's not going to get involved in a country like Syria. She's not going to spend money that she doesn't have. So what chance is there that the next German government will be any different from the last? The election debate has been parochial, epitomized by heated exchanges over a Green Party idea for a weekly vegetarian day. But many in business believe Germany cannot be inward-looking, whether the next Chancellor is centre-right Miss Merkel or centre-left Per Steinbrück. I am of the firm belief that both politicians do understand fully how much expectations there are outside Germany when it comes to the role a country should play in shaping Europe and in shaping the world's governance. But at the same point, both politicians know that the German electorate, the ordinary people in the streets, hate that idea. And therefore, they both have to walk a very thin line between two ambitious internationally and at the same time alienating their domestic audience. That's one of the key problems any German leader has at the moment. Marcus Kerber believes Germany will deliver more leadership and capital to Europe. But other election observers aren't so optimistic. The, 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 the discrepancy between a German good feeling, uh, we are just fine, we are, you know, we are governed fine, the country is fine, we are exporting, we reduce unemployment, sort of, it's all fine here, why should we bother? That's a very dominant feeling, um, but it just does not reflect the situation of the other European countries much. Ulrike Guerreau believes the lack of appetite for bold gestures means there's little backing for a big political push for radical policies to stabilize the euro, such as eurozone bonds or a debt redemption fund. Well, on the fair, fair assumption that we either continue with this government or we end up in a grand coalition, I would argue that we won't change much. I mean, we, Germany will continue to do Europe and we will be very pragmatic, but uh, sort of the wish, the big push for European integration or a big European change, policy change in European policy, I don't see this. A grand coalition between Ms. Merkel's Christian Democrats and Mr. Steinbrück's Social Democrats now looks quite likely. They not only agree on Europe, there's also a lot of common ground on social policies. Angela Merkel has seized the middle ground in German politics and that was a deliberate move. That is what she wanted to do. If you think back eight years ago when Angela Merkel first started to campaign, she had a much more liberal agenda. She wanted many more reforms liberalizing the German economy. This has all gone out. You know, for instance, the CDU is now in favor of a national minimum wage. They also have said that some conditions on the labor market are not acceptable anymore and the government has moved more towards uh, battling these problems. But to some, that's still not enough. The head of Berlin's leading economic institute believes the new government could and should do more to stimulate growth at home and thus in Europe. What is being ignored are all the big weaknesses that Germany has. Uh, very low productivity growth, and competitiveness is really based on low wage growth, not on productivity growth. Um, and finally, also very low public investment. So all the success stories have a dark side to it. But unfortunately, at the moment, there is a feeling of euphoria in Germany that focuses on the good things, but not really at those things that are not working. The issue, how can we improve growth? How can we improve prosperity in the long run? And for that reason, I'm not particularly optimistic that there is an awakening and a feel about the need of urgency, that we need to change things and, and have to have reform and a change in Germany. So will there be much change from the next German government? I doubt it. The room for manoeuvre is really quite limited. As far as Europe's concerned, there is a broad consensus. Germany will show solidarity with its Eurozone partners, but only in exchange for strict new rules. That's the way Angela Merkel has played it, and the chances are she's going to be the next Chancellor. So if you're waiting for big reforms from Berlin, don't hold your breath. This is Quentin Peel, Financial Times in Berlin.